So he has a very interesting discovery from, you know, our, uh, our home affairs. You know, we've spoken about this before. Mm. The most efficient home affairs. Mm. You always look for that. You go and you go to home affairs and you have no prospect of success. You just know. Mm-hmm. Today is going to be the worst damn day of my life. It's going to be right? a long one. It's going to be a slog. And it, it might be two days. I just need an unabridged birth certificate. Mm-hmm. And I know it's going to probably take two days. I'm probably going to be in the wrong queue mm-hmm. that I'm going to sit in for five hours. And then they're going to tell me, no, you meant to be in that queue. And I'll say, but they told me I must be in this queue. No, you must be in that queue. Then it hits three o'clock. Then you've got to go home. You need to come back the next day. We all have these stories. This is a very common South African story. Okay, so why is it that home affairs is like this? So now we've got a new home affairs minister. Mm -hmm. He seems to be doing a fantastic job. Um, Leon Schreiber. So he's been doing an investigation. Firstly, he's trying to um, clear the backlog of the work permits and all these things. and The the IDs and that. Yeah. And... um, He's found out, he's discovered this, all right? The slowest home affairs. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> our, what is your home affairs here? Where do you go? I, I was told to go to Paul because that was apparently quite quick. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. I just go to the one in the CBD. Yeah, no, They I are just, always queue, so I just pack snacks and I know this is going to be my day. Yeah, so like you can go to the bank if you need a passport mm-hmm. or something, but when you need those birth certificates, you've got to go to the home affairs, right? Mm-hmm. I flew home to PE to do my smart ID. Really? Yeah, because I was like, surely doing it in PE will be quicker than doing it in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, got to see my parents. Okay, but just hold on. (laughs) What is the smart ID? Do I have one? Is it the card? It's the card. Okay, I got that. Does that ever expire? No. No, thank goodness. No, oh, the, the green ID yo. book also hasn't expired. Yo, there are still people rocking their green ID books, eh? Mm. No, still valid form of Holding identification. Holding on for dear life. The slowest home affairs. The slowest home affairs in South Africa, officially, is in KZN and it's Ulindi. Sure, so we're naming and shaming now. Yes. So how did they get to that conclusion that it's the slowest? Because to this day... Today is the 15th of October, 2024. The internet that they have there is 64 kilobits per second. If you know nothing about that, all right, what Mm -hmm. that means. When internet first arrived in 1990. Oh, no. Before there was Facebook. Before there was MySpace. When there was only like a hundred websites in the world, we were rocking 56k. This was this is how they get on the internet. Oh no! And Welcome then, to Home Affairs. And if somebody, maybe that's why they don't. Because remember, you you pick up the phone and then it cancels your internet yeah. connection. Maybe that's why they don't answer the phone. How have the people in that area been living? Just accepted the the you slowness. Know, no, and how is this okay uh, for a home affair? Yeah, yes. yeah, Unacceptable. Yeah. You can, from you, Lindy, you can walk the document quicker to Pretoria than on their internet. Oh. So they stay on 64 kilobits per second. It's nothing. You can't do anything with that. Most of the home affairs, he says, are on two kilobits per second. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that is the most basic, basic. entry-level internet package that you can get. Mm. Okay, so imagine trying to upload a document mm. that's now bigger, HD, full mm. HD, whatever megapixels. I mean, biometrics, it's, the fingerprints, all of that information, that data. Yeah, so there are 323 home affairs offices in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Only 31 of them are running um, 10 megabits per second or faster. Only 31. That's 10% of the home affairs that have an internet connection that you can actually use. So why haven't they upgraded? Well, this is clearly a matter of uh, 
uh, priority for him. I don't even know what an efficient home affairs looks like, to be honest. I've been so used to how poor it's been mm. all these years. Mm, mm, I know mm. I'm going to wait. I know there's going to be issues. Yeah, you just I mean, prepared. the first time I applied for an ID, they spelt my name wrong, but it was already processed. So I had to wait for the incorrect ID to come and then correct that ID in order to apply for a new one. Because you look at my ID photo. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you 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 see you go like dude couldn't you at least like be a little bit happier mm. it's because i'm so mad at that point of the day yeah mm-hmm. when i've waited four hours grumpy grump yeah mm. and and now it's my time for a photo i'm just so mull that that's me yeah I that's mean, my state of mind i was this close to being sib gongile oh, no. yeah. and walking away from home affairs with a new name there are people in this country mm. whose names are spelt incorrectly in their mm. IDs and they never went to go fix it. Yeah. They just live with it. They're like, I'm not going to waste another day. I'd rather be I've this been through it. person like, than <laughs> like, go back to home affairs. Like from the pop quiz yesterday, Justin. <laughs> pronounced Justin. Justin. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, producer Brad. Yeah, just to give you some uh, context on those internet speeds, mm. let's say roughly we, we operate on around 30 megs on our phone. It can go up yeah. depending yeah. on your network, but I'd say on average, the connection is 30 around meg, 30 yeah. megs, mm. which is 30,000 kilobits. Mm. Mm. They're working on at best 56. 56, oh. yeah. And the average user has 30,000. Mm. Yes. And our governments are using 56. 56. Ha, ha, make it make sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't. You can't. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like the difference between. Ramiz and myself in 100 meters. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Why I think 56 k is a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming for me like Because you said you're going to beat me at I'm 100 meters. To. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you. Uh, uh, oh, so, yeah. That, that explains a hell of a lot, though. Eh? Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know those speeds were still accessible. Yeah, like I don't know where, completely you, honest. where would, speeds. Where would yeah. you find a 56k yeah. modem? Yeah, because I thought even ADSL, which kind of maxed out at 10 megs, I thought that was gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That 56k modem, yeah. look under the fax machine in the storeroom. That's where you're going to find it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's crazy, eh? So, hopefully it gets sorted. KFM Mornings.